Let's now turn our focus to India, where things are slowly inching back to normal in the northeastern state of Manipur. Ethnic violence, remember, had plunged the state into complete turmoil. More than 150 people lost their lives and thousands were displaced from their homes. After a gap of more than two months, schools for classes 9 till 12 have now reopened. Previously, many schools were used as relief camps and admission rules for students who were affected by the ethnic staff were relaxed. Uh, first of all, I'm very happy to see my students coming here. But uh, at least I think the number of students arrived from yesterday, from, the, from yesterday to here is a little bit uh, low. Number, that, the number of students is a little bit low. Right. Because of the, that situation. Uh, I feel very excited after a long time I've come to school and there's a lot of new people I've got to see and our juniors are lots of people and yeah so thankfully now I'm hoping for the best to come in our way. Now on Thursday speaking during a debate or of no confidence motion that was moved by the opposition to get the Indian Prime Minister to address the crisis unfolding in Manipur on the floor of the parliament the Indian Prime Minister finally assured that peace will return to the strife-torn state and those who are guilty of perpetrating the violence will be punished. दोषियों को कड़ी से कड़ी सजा दिलवाने के लिए केंद्र सरकार राज्य सरकार मिलकर के भरपूर प्रयास कर रही है और मैं देश के सभी नागरिकों को आश्वस्त करना चाहता हूं कि जिस प्रकार से प्रयास चल रहे हैं निकट भविष्य में शांति का सूरज जरूर उगेगा मणिपुर हाई कोर्ट इज हियरिंग प्लीज दैट आर सीकिंग फॉर द रिस्टोरेशन ऑफ मोबाइल इंटरनेट सर्विसेज व्हिच हैव बीन ब्लॉक्ड ड्यू टू द वायलेंस दैट ब्रोक आउट इन द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ मे it's now been asked that the state government should in fact find ways to restore the internet services. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.